right, there we are. May 3rd, 2023. Got some soffits to repair. Soffits are this vented piece up under your uh, eaves there. And what happened is the storm blew them out of here. If you look at these, when they installed these, these, this is the original piece right here. You can see they've got a little tab they bend up on the J channel. And that's a new staple. The old staples uh, were barely in there. And what happened is this whole row of staples uh, came loose because when the 125 mile an hour wind is wailing on this thing for four or five hours, it does one of these numbers and it just eventually works those tiny little staples. Let's see if I can find one. Uh, they're down there. Works those loose and your soffits blow up in and then of course they blow loose and then they're either stuck up here in the space where they fall back down and then other ones come out on down the line till you lose a whole row of soffit like you have here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these back with new J channel and here's my J channel. Here, let's get a good look at her there. So what I did is I put a few more tabs in there. My tabs, instead of like every two and a half feet, mine are about every 16 inches or so. And then the other thing I do is I use a better staple, of course. Ooh, hopefully we're going to have... Oh, good, that tab misses that. All right, so that's going to be perfect. And then what I do is I take a piece of pressure-treated 1x2, and I will lay that across the top of that J channel and I'll staple through that or put a, a deck screw through that through the J channel and into the frame of the house. Okay, yeah, here it is over here. Where's my deck screws? There, where are we at here? There, deck screw like that. So that'll sandwich that in there and hold that very securely and then with that screwed on there, there's no way that J-channel is ever going to blow up in or out. And uh, that'll greatly uh, improve your soffit security. There's the little staples that they used. And you can see they're only about halfway in. So if that wiggles in the wind for an hour or two, they're going to fall out. And then all your soffit on down the line is going to start working itself out. All right, the other thing you're going to want to pay attention to is your insulation. Once you blow out your soffits and the wind's been pounding on this for a couple hours, it'll actually push your insulation back into the attic or completely blow it out, blow it through the attic. So all of these pieces here were tucked back in there like two feet, uh, a couple of them, uh, and I had to reach in there and pull them back out. I got a little scratched up there from the nails. So be careful doing that. And then I can see right here there's a piece missing. So I'm going to go cut a little piece of insulation to stuff in there. And you want a little ventilation baffle in there. A few of these are missing, but there is a little space there, so it's not too bad. But yeah, keep an eye on your insulation because it'll be blown out of there too. All right, and as usual, you get down to your last four pieces here, and I don't have anything wide enough. These ones blew away. Or my neighbor took them and put them on his house. I told him he could have mine. So I got to go buy a strip of uh, soffit and uh, cut these last four pieces in here and finish this up.